Hi, I'm Susan, and welcome to Be Mindful. In today's meditation, we're focusing on self-criticism, self-judgment, and ways to reduce the suffering that comes from these kinds of thoughts, as well as offer some strategies for self-compassion. Let's get started. So as we move into the practice, I'll invite you as always to not feel like you have to be still, to move your body in any way that would feel comfortable, that allows you to come into a meditative position. to acknowledge all that has already happened this day and what will happen in the days to come. And allow those past and future thoughts to shift into the background as we focus on what we can sense in the present moment. I'll invite you to close your eyes if that's comfortable for you, if that makes it easier for you to meditate. But it's fine to have eyes open as well. And we begin by noticing what is becoming present to us as we use our senses. Perhaps we can feel the ground beneath our feet. Our body supported by the chair or whatever surface our bodies are resting against. Perhaps there are smells or sounds or a lingering taste in the mouth. There is the body the body parts that sense these things. And there is the aspect of ourselves that can observe ourselves sensing these things. Our brains secrete thoughts and our minds can notice those thoughts as thoughts. We have a tendency to take thoughts as truth, to accept whatever pops into our mind as truth. Sometimes these thoughts are our own. And sometimes these thoughts come from the culture around us. But the fact is, these thoughts that come in and tell us that we are doing things wrong or that we should have done better are just words.
And even if they happen to be true, they're often not helpful. And so there's this side of thoughts that is cognitive. There's content to the thought. And then there's this consequence of thoughts that is emotional, that evokes a reaction in us. that we define as particular emotion, but that we tend to experience in our bodies. So when we have thoughts of self-judgment, self-criticism, There's work we can do cognitively with the content of the thought, if that's helpful. There's work we can do cognitively to allow the thought to just be there as words emanating from our minds and not engaging with the thought or trying to make it go away. But just noting that it's a thought and allowing it to float around for a little while. Human beings judge by nature. It's part of what protects us. Labeling things as good or bad. Pleasurable or painful. Safe or dangerous. Part of the practice of mindfulness meditation is to take things as they are. To notice what's happening in the present reality and allowing it to exist just as it is. And by practicing that with our environments, Maybe we can begin to practice that with ourselves. And when that practice of self-acceptance isn't quite there yet, we can work rather than with the cognitive aspects of self-judgment, but with those emotional consequences. We can explore where in the body we're feeling those difficult emotions where the words of self-criticism stab at our hearts or cause tightness in our extremities or throat or abdomen.
as I often do, I would invite you to place a hand wherever the body is experiencing the impact of these self-criticisms. And just as the brain produces these thoughts and there's a part of us that can observe that phenomenon happening, there's another part of us that can offer ourselves compassion and comfort. Perhaps we can imagine a friend having these kinds of thoughts, going through some type of difficulty, blaming or shaming themselves. And imagine if they were saying these self-critical thoughts that they were having out loud to you, what might you say to comfort them? Can you offer those words, those wishes, those feelings of comfort that you might wish for another? Can you offer that to yourself? maybe acknowledging the difficult position that you're in. Acknowledging the emotions that come up around self-critical thoughts. And expanding around those feelings. Allowing yourself to feel what you feel to provide comfort and compassion to yourself where that's helpful. To make room for that emotion. That maybe it's prominent now, but it's not the only thing we feel. And as we begin to move to the end of this meditation, I'll invite you to place a hand on your heart. And to say two phrases to yourself. The first is, I am more than the sum of my thoughts. And 
the second is, I am worthy of love and compassion. I wanna invite you to hold those words in your heart and to carry them through the rest of the day. And now you can move your body in whatever ways would be helpful or comfortable. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes Thank you for joining me today in that combination of teaching and meditation. I hope that you found this exploration of thought and emotion and various ways we can work with those aspects of ourselves to be helpful. If you found this to be helpful, I would appreciate if you would give it a thumbs up, if you would consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'd love to hear any comments you have to share about how this practice was for you, what you noticed. Thanks and have a wonderful day.